morning. And it is morning. It is 6.30 now. And I left the house about an hour and a half ago. We're on our way to pick up a buddy of mine. And we're driving all the way to Indianapolis tonight. And then I guess outside of Chicago tomorrow and we're going to go pick up a car. Something I've wanted since I was a little child. And it's one of those things that I never ever thought would happen. And I'm very excited about this thing. But um, we're going to go pick him up and then get on down the road. We're actually uh, taking a car to where we're going and doing a little swap be fun. I can't wait. I'm still asleep, so if I'm not making any sense, I apologize. But uh, it's been a while. Grab you a beer, Coors preferably. Get you some popcorn, a little snacky snack, maybe some ice cream, maybe some mac and cheese, maybe a chicken sandwich. Just sit back, relax. It's gonna be a fun ride. Guaranteed. Rusty drove for Raymond Beetle, which was the Blue Max racing team. He drove the Blue Allegard Grand Prix, and then it went to the, um, the Kodiak car, which he won the championship in the Kodiak car, the white and green number 27 car. And then the last year that Rusty was with Raymond Beetle, uh, he got the Miller Genuine Draft sponsorship, and the car was black and gold. And then 91 is when he went to... Uh, Penske and he kept the Miller sponsorship and it transferred to the Penske number two car. But um, I've always, always, always had a weird obsession with this car. And I've said for years if I could ever find one, I'd, I'd be all over one. And then, you know, finding a uh, like a 70s, 80s, or 90s era cup car 
and it's like original livery is like impossible because those things got wrecked they got sold to other teams they got repainted and so this car from what i was told and this is at this point in time so i haven't even seen this car yet but i was told that this car is the car that he wrecked in bristol uh he like lost the tire through turn three and hit the wall pretty hard and tore the car up so obviously they fixed the car and it's been uh was in a museum from what i was told so um so we're we're leaving out of south carolina right now i'm gonna go pick my buddy jordan up and get his trailer and the car that we're taking and then we're gonna go all the way to uh outside of chicago so this video might be a two-parter i think we're gonna get a lot of a lot of footage definitely a lot of seat time so um let's go have some fun yay Of Chicago. Uh, there's no water in the hotel, so I didn't get to take a shower. I got to brush my teeth. Yeah. Remember a bump we hit on the bridge yesterday? Yeah. It hit it so hard, one of the race car flaps was teased. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we uh, had no water this morning. No shower. It's colder than a witch's booby outside. And I'm letting the truck warm up because it's freezing and I got frost in my windshield. Uh. So it's day 
day two. It's crazy the random stuff you find when you travel around the country like this. You got a Cold War era F-84 Thunderstreak just sitting in a parking lot in the middle of Illinois. There's the autograph that's from here and that one there. That one he did in the museum in Gaylord, Michigan. This one he did when we did the uh, Rusty Wallace thing in Daytona when he went the induction in the ceremony. We're going to try to find all the stuff. We got, we got a picture of Rusty when he was signing it. And we're going to gather up the rest of the stuff. Uh, some of the stuff we're going to have to make copies of because our other cars are on it too. Right. So you were telling him that this is the car that he hit the wall with at Bristol in 90? Yep. If you stand back and you look at this cube right here, you can see where it curves in. Right about here. Yep. Yep. But it drives fine. I had a guy drive it down in Lakeland, Florida, and he kept up with my Earnhardt car with it. I, 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 I looked this up on the way out there, so it was originally a white yeah, 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 yeah. They There was two of them. I've never seen that one. There was a white one, and there was a black one. Oh, you can talk to them. But this was the one when my brother was still alive. And both of them were the ones that seated right here. It originally was all white. But they've been sitting for a while. Four years, three yeah. years or more. <coughs> See, back to These are the I haven't looked recently. You can take, knock that pile of towels off. It's, it's in a good trailer and not this one. The simulator's sitting out there in that other trailer. I just made I hate it. these ones. So. It's crazy how much these things have changed in the last 30 years. Yeah, 
You got you got room on this side.
way home. And I've kind of neglected to film everything this morning, but it really hadn't been much. But I'm having my first experience with Culver's. That's kind of hot. It's really hot, actually. It's good, but it's spicy. And the little fried cheese nuggets are fantastic. What do you think? Cheese. <laughs> cheese. We're back. Safe and sound. What a long ride this was. We left out at 5 o'clock Friday morning. Drove all the way to Indianapolis. Spent the night in Indianapolis. Then drove another almost five hours to the way west side of Chicago. Uh, got the other car delivered. Got this one picked up. Um, went back to Indianapolis. Spent the night in Indianapolis. And then today got up this morning and uh, drove all the way back. And it's almost midnight Sunday and we got back in a couple hours ago. Had to get the car off trailer, take the trailer back, take Jordan home. But we're here. Never in my wildest dreams did I ever think I'd have that sitting in this shop and it's I get to play with it. It's not I'm not working on it for somebody else. This is ours. This is ours. We get to play with this. And there's gonna be a lot of videos on this car. So um the the doors that this thing's gonna open up to go just have stupid fun is like mind boggling. So I wanna thank everybody that was involved to help make this happen. Um this car popped up for sale a couple of months ago and then disappeared. And then Jordan that, uh, that rode with me this go around, he was very instrumental in helping us make this happen. And here it is, man. Uh, I was 10 years old when this car um, was a competing car. And being a massive race car guy, and a you know huge NASCAR fan since I was a little tiny kid up until right now, you know the the Rusty Wallace Miller cars, the Pontiacs, this car, the Blue Max car, and the Penske number two uh, were have always been my favorite modern era, like '80s to now modern era cars ever. Um, and there it is, man. It's sitting right there. And according to the history, <clears throat> excuse me, on this car, um, I was told, and I don't know if any of it's true or not, so I'm going to have to do a whole lot of investigation on this thing, but I was told that this is the car that Rusty blew a tire and wrecked the car in Bristol. And then a few months later, supposedly this is the car that won the Coca-Cola 600 in Charlotte in uh, May. Don't know. I hope it's true. I hope it's true. And if it is true, it's going to probably kind of steer my direction on how we use this car. Because kind of what I want to do at this point is either totally rebuild this engine because it's tired or get a hold of something worth putting in here. And then it's going to see like track days, road Atlanta, that kind of stuff. And do, you know, I'll show it, obviously. Something like this needs to get out to the public. But, um, I'm tired. I'm so happy this thing is here. Um, if you told me when I was 10 years old and my dad built a model of this car and I absolutely fell in love with it, that I was going to have it sitting here at my, like, beck and call to just do whatever I want with it, I'd say you are crazy. There it is, man. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. So thanks for y'all uh, for watching, supporting the channel. Um, 
the uh, subscriptions have like blown up. So like the video, please uh, tell your friends to subscribe. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And this thing's gonna be a massive part of it. And um, at some point I'm going to uh, introduce my other vintage NASCAR race car that is way more significant than this thing, but I'm gonna, I think I'll talk about that one right now. That's down the road. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun for me. I hope it was fun for you. And I will upload something way sooner than this. I've got another video that I recorded about a month ago. And I haven't released it yet because the deal went way south real quick. And I've thought about not uploading it because of what happened. But I might do it anyways because I kind of don't care at this point. So possibly look out for that one. But like I said, like, subscribe, subscribe. Tell your friends. It's going to be fun. Catch you on the next one.